Here we have a new session in Pro Tools, and I'm in a metal mood. Let's make some metal, man. So in that case, of course, I already have some tracks created. I'd have to come in here and add some sort of an amp uh, plugin. Then, of course, I probably need to control shift in, go into our new tracks dialog. Probably need to add some instrument tracks, you know, for uh, BFD3, for some drums, maybe some contact, you know, for some keys in there. Maybe have a reverb return in there once I get everything set up. So I have some work to do here. Or I can do this the easy way, the fast way, the like a boss way, and just recall a track preset. So let's do that. Come down here, track presets, one I created earlier, metal and the full metal. Create that. And in one click, man, look at this. Look at what we have here. So now we have our amp right here. We have a chorus on that, our green screamer on that track. We also have some audio that came in with that track. So we can quickly go ahead and start testing our amp settings. We have BFD3 here. We have contact here with MIDI on the tracks ready to go. And if we look over here, we can also see that I already have a reverb return set up here for our guitar and contact to both feed this D-verb uh, reverb channel. That's the power of your track presets here in Pro Tools. It's not like other DAWs where you're just recalling one thing. You can recall so much stuff here. So let's go ahead and set up some track presets here so you know how to do it. Let's focus on this track here because we already have some audio on it. Let's say we have, let's see, we'll just grab something here. It doesn't really matter. We'll say an EQ, just have that on there, and maybe a compressor. We'll just go to the We'll just go to the Avid category, and we'll just grab, say, this Joe Meek here. Obviously, set things up, set your parameters however, uh, however you want. And we'll say this is perfect for this vocal track. Well, guess what? We can save this here, our two plugins in this case, but we could have more plugins if we want. We can even save the audio on the track. We can also save MIDI as well, but we're on an audio track now. So let's go ahead and save a track preset. We could come up here to track and save track preset or use your shortcut there or an easier way in my opinion, right click here, go to save track preset. And we can of course put this in any category we want or add a category. So we'll just add a category, we'll call this uh, voice or something like that. And we'll just create this in the track preset menu. Okay, now we can name this, call this my vocal. Very good. And we have an option here, as you can see, to include audio and MIDI clips. Now that's pretty cool. <laughs> Most of the time, you probably won't want to actually include your audio and MIDI. You just want the settings from the, you know, from your plugins, and you want your plugins, of course. But let's just uh, do it this time. And we can also choose clips in edit selection only. So as you can see here, there's an edit selection for these clips here. That means clips back here won't be included. That's pretty cool too. Let's go ahead and do it just, uh, just for funsies, right? So auto populate the tags if you want. Type in whatever, uh, whatever else you want. We'll call it uh, perfect or something like that in case we want to search that. Come down here to our uh, track data to recall and look at all of this uh, track data that we can recall. It's literally an insane amount of track data. Not gonna go through all of it here because honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you want the track active state, you want the track comments, you want the track colors, uh, you want clip gain, so on and so forth. So just check whatever you want, uh, untick whatever you don't want. You can also have different presets here for, uh, you know, what to uh, recall, which is pretty cool whenever you set that up. And session data, do we want uh, our window configurations, our heat settings, our uh, tempo and meter map? Okay, we can also do an offset. No offset is probably what you'll choose most of the time, but you can say offset to the song start, offset to timeline selection, offset to, and you can give it a, uh, you know, exact setting there. In this case, let's just say offset to timeline selection, again, just to, uh, just to do that. We can force this to ticks or samples if we want, but uh, we have a lot of options in there. Make sure this tag takes there, pressing enter, and that's all there is to it, man. We've set up a new track preset. All we have to do is click OK, and all of that is saved. Now, what do you say we recall this track preset? Now, we can do this in a couple different ways. Uh, Control Shift in, in my case, Command Shift in on Mac, and just use your track selector here. Come down to track presets, and right here we can see voice. Now, I only have one in the voice category right now, so I could select it here. I could also come over here, for example, right click and say recall track preset. Another thing we could do is we can recall just the inserts from our track preset. So let's come here to an insert and just see how that works. So recall inserts from our track presets. We'll come to metal when I created earlier and we'll do the angle. And we'll just recall this angle uh, track preset, just the inserts from the track preset. So now we have those three different amps here, or those three different effects recalled with just one click. But let's come back up here and we'll make sure we select that track. I'll go control shift in 
and let's pull this new preset in, this new track preset voice. That's what I want. We'll go ahead and create it. And this way you can see exactly what happens. Look at that there. So it recalled our audio up to that point uh, that we had it, you know, selected. Didn't include all of this stuff here. And it also included, of course, uh, our, our plugins and whatever settings we had. So that is the basics of your track presets, how to make them, how to recall them, and how to also recall just the inserts from your track presets by going recall insert, and then just grabbing, you know, your inserts from, uh, from your track preset. Now, not only can we save presets with just one track, we can also save multiples. So in order to do that, just select a track and then select whatever other uh, tracks that you happen to want included in your track preset. And we can right click here and save track preset. And we'll just leave it like this uh, for now. Voice is fine. Okay. Choose okay. And now that's going to save in our case, all three of those tracks. Very cool. Very easy. So control shift in there. And I can always recall that really quick and get all three of those. I think we called it inst one, create that. And then we get all three of those tracks, as you can see right here, the ones that are selected, all three of those recalled instantly with just that one click. Okay. So don't think you're limited to just one track preset or one track. You can actually select multiple tracks and recall all of that data, all of those plugins, all of those settings, and even audio or MIDI on that track, recall all of that with just one click by using your track presets. Now we should also probably look up here at window and we'll go to our workspace. We don't have one, so we'll go ahead and create one here. Look in here and we also have track presets up in here. So we can manage our track presets within our workspace. You can also recall them uh, from your workspace as well. So let me find something that's not quite as large, an EQ here. I'll just double click this and there we go. It loads that up. You can see uh, this audio track right here that it, uh, it loaded up for us. So you can come into your workspaces and you know, go through all of your track presets, manage them, come in here to your data that's uh, recalled, check different things, uncheck different things, uh, change your offset, no offset, so on and so forth. And of course you can search. So maybe search for metal or something like that in our, uh, in our track presets. What do we have here? There's metal. Very good. Very easy to find our track presets. We can also of course grab things here and try to pull them in as such. But I still think the easiest way is to leave the workspace closed. And if you just want the inserts, just go to recall inserts. And if you want to load a, a track preset on an existing track, I can right click this track and say recall track preset. And I can put it say directly on a track that already exists. Right there it is. Okay. Or, you know, I could uh, control shift in and I could, of course, recall that track preset uh, this way. Okay, so that is your track presets here in Pro Tools, a very, very fast way to work. And being able to recall your data is, uh, you know, pretty cool as well. Being able to recall certain MIDI, being able to recall certain audio, especially useful for video workflows or even some audio workflows where maybe you have the same MIDI, the same audio, and you always want to recall it or have it spotted, placed, you know, in a, in a certain place. Well, you can do that with your with your track presets very easily there. Again, you can also use your track menu to uh, save your track presets if you want, but the easiest way, again, is just right click and save a track preset. Come up here, add your tags, add a category if you want. If you need a new category, place it wherever you want. Include the MIDI or not. Be sure to hop into your track data to recall. Make sure you're grabbing everything that you want give it a good name and of course save that preset and then you can recall it at will with basically one click here in Pro Tools.